Hey everyone, Vintage Vinny here. Welcome to another haul video. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from Applejack's Resale and Sophia's Thrift Store in the Winchester Stevens City area. So if you've never been to Applejack's Resale, it is a rather small store. Uh, just a few aisles and then some stuff in the back. Um, of course, prices are going to vary depending on vendor. Uh, but each time I go there, I walk out with a few things. Um, I did spend $21.06 on everything that you're going to see. A few of these items are for resale and a few of these items are going to be for um, us to use here at home. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what I got, shall we? Uh, this is Aromatherapy Mist. My apologies. Oh, there we go. Uh, this is by Woolsey's. Uh, this smells really good. It's Enchanting Lavender. I got that for 10% off, so I got this for $2.25. Uh, this is good stuff to just spray. Anything with essential oils in it um, usually smells pretty good, so I had to pick that up. I had one of these years ago. Uh, this is a skeleton or a skull um, shot glass, and I did pay a buck for that. Um, and I didn't realize it was glass until after it fell off of my shelf and broke, and like it literally shattered into a million pieces. So I was tickled to find that. It's going to be cleaned up, but I will be using that. I picked up this purple crackle glass piece. I want to say that this was made by Pilgrim Glass. I know that people like these little pieces, so anytime I can find them for a reasonable price, I will pick them up, of course. I also found a large Bluebird of Happiness, the Ron Ray, I think is what they're called, Bluebirds. Um, again, this is one of the larger ones. It is signed, it's from 1992, and like I said, this is one of the bigger ones, so I was thrilled to be able to get this. And the only other things that I got from Apple Jacks, like I said, not a very big haul, but I've got some other stuff from Sophia's Thrift that I want y'all to see. Um, I did get a box of Kleenex, um, Trusted Care, 230 two-ply tissues. Those were $275. And oops, is that in focus? If it's not, I apologize. There we go. Yep, so 230 two-ply tissues for $275. Anytime you see an item like this in an indoor flea market or a flea market in general, um, and you're able to look it up on the Walmart app, because sometimes what vendors are asking is more than what the retail store is asking, and sometimes it's less or just a few dollars less than what a retail store is asking. So always do your research if you're able to. So of course I looked this up, and of course I saw um, quantities less for a little bit more, and I know Kleenex are not expensive. You can go to Dollar General, anywhere to get them, but... When you're in a flea market setting and you see stuff like this, it's always important to look and make sure that you're either paying a little bit less than retail or not exactly, you know, much less than retail. So, um, of course, 230 tissues is going to last me a while, so that's why I went ahead and picked those up. And the only other thing that I did get from Apple Jacks is a Room Essentials bath mat. It, they look like little stones. Um, you know, these are good to have on hand, especially if you need them for a rental or um, even just for your own bathroom. Uh, these retail at Target. I think Room Essentials is a Target brand. It says it on the back. Um, these retail for about 10 bucks at Target. Um, I was able to get this one brand new for only $2. So anytime I see something that is usable or has a potential to be used, I will pick it up if the price is right. So two bucks for that was a steal of a deal. So from Sophia's Thrift Store, I spent $65.37. 
Now, the name thrift store, you know, you associate um, people donating goods and then the store sells them to help with their mission or whatever the case may be. Um, Sophia's Thrift Store is basically like Applejack's Resale and Precious Treasures. It is an indoor flea market and different vendors bring in their items and they sell them. So each vendor sets their own prices and runs a sale if they want to. So I was able to get some really good stuff. Let's go ahead and check out what I got. So again, some things are for myself, some things are to sell. Uh, this is a Target candle. This is Sparkling Yuzu um, candle. I believe that these were probably, oh uh, yeah, $5 from Target. Um, I got that half price at $2.50. So that is going to be for us, and this actually smells really good. It's got like a, almost like a fruit snack kind of a smell to it. I just love it. So that'll go in our candle stash of things we can burn. This caught my attention. I just thought it was really unique and different. Uh, this is Italian. It does say Medici, Firenze, Italy. Um, I want to say, I can't remember what these sell for, but I, it was worth picking up. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I did find another one of these Clinique mirrors, or like compacts. Um, I did actually just have a return on one of these because it was not the right one that this guy's wife had broke or whatever. So I now have two of those available. I'll have to clean that one up, of course, just a little bit because it's a little cosmetically uh, dirty. Uh, this is an OXO Grips. Forgive the, uh, the way I have that. It's a mango splitter, and it's brand new. Uh, this was in a booth that was 50% off. So I went ahead and picked that up, and that is actually worth about 15 bucks. So I'll probably list it for $16.99 and hope that somebody offers me 15 I have a thing for the Old Spice um, items. This is Aftershave Talc. Don't think I've seen this one before, and the price was reasonable enough on it, so I went ahead and took it. This is a perfume sample uh, for myself, paid a dollar. This is the, I think it's pronounced Tumi. It says Eau de Parfum, but I sprayed both of them, and they smell very masculine, so I don't think that those were meant to be women's, or maybe they were, maybe they were unisex, I don't know. But they smell very masculine, at least to me anyway. I also got this uh, Michelob Ultra bottle opener. So that was fun. Um, I like finding new old stock items from the 60s and 70s and putting them in my uh, junk jars. This was just really fun because it's from the 90s, like late 80s, early 90s. Um, it's called the Echo Chain. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Like I said, the bright colors of the 90s are what initially attracted me to this. So I really like that. I did get another fragrance for myself. Uh, this is called Happy by Clinique for Men. And it's got, I'm trying, let me smell it for you all and tell you all what I think of it. It's got a very like citrusy, like kind of like, not a musky smell, but like a refreshing kind of a scent. And that was $8. Um, I don't think it was a very expensive fragrance when I looked it up. Of course, when I uh, saw it and I smelled it and I liked it, um, I wanted to, of course, make sure that it wasn't priced at retail. So um, I looked it up and um, people were asking like upwards of 30 bucks for it. So I knew that it was worth picking up. You know, it's funny. Um, when I go further into Virginia, like I just came back from, um, Strasburg and Edinburgh, uh, up that way towards the Shenandoah Valley. And people seem to know their fragrances up that way. It's funny because, you know, here, not that, you know, people are stupid. It's just that I find fragrances at better prices here and maybe in PA than I do out there in Virginia, which is, it's just funny, like regionally what people think, you know, seems to be worth more than what others think or other parts of where I'm at. So that was kind of interesting. I did also pick this up. This is adorable. This is a Halloween kitty cat. Um, what do they call these? Wallflowers. So you go to Bath and Body Works and you buy the little um, this, uh, oil things. You stick them up in here, plug it in, and it'll disperse the oil into the air and make it smell nice. 
Uh, this Halloween one, I, I want to say I looked it up and it was worth about $35. Um, you know, Halloween just ended. It was yesterday as I filmed this. So I'm not really sure if that will uh, still command the same price, but of course I'm going to list it for that because, you know, people buy seasonal stuff all year, be it after the holiday or way after the holiday or right before that holiday. So didn't think that was too bad of a pickup. All right, so some more fantastic finds from Sophia's Thrift. Um, this is a Chemtronics Tune-O Lube uh, Cleaner. Never been used, still has the product in it, and it even still has the stainless steel needle on it, which is awesome. I also found this interesting piece from 1972. It is a Cube Nightlight. Um, I have to buy batteries for it because I don't think I have any. Um, but it was really interesting. It still has a, um, or it has a clean battery compartment. So I know that this will probably still work. They had another one that I really, really wanted, but unfortunately, actually, fortunately and unfortunately, um, I had the presence of mind to open up the battery compartment to see what it looked like. And it was corroded. I mean, there were batteries in it from years ago that had never been taken out. So yeah. I'm really glad that I uh, thought to do that. This is very interesting. This is from my childhood. This is called Johnson Kids Foam Blaster. It's hand and facial wash in Jazzy Blue Raspberry. It was released by the Johnson & Johnson Company that we all know and love and have used for years. This is from the year, does it have a year on it? Um, 2003. And it's brand new and sealed. Again, I looked it up, and of course it was worth picking up, but I just cannot remember for the life of me how much it is worth. But I have it in my possession for obvious reasons. This piece caught my eye. I really liked the deco look of it. At least I thought it looked deco with the triangles here. I want to say that this is a celery or a relish dish. Again, it was the leaves in the um, top and bottom... I um, guess part of the handles, or maybe these are the handles, that caught my attention, and um, I just thought it was really cool. I don't know who made it. I could say EAPG, but you know what? That's just my, me flinging out a name in a company when I really don't know. Uh, like I said, I thought it was very unusual, and I just I loved the look of it. And uh, yeah, I, it's just very different, not anything I have seen before. So that's why I went ahead and picked that up. And the final two items that I would like to share with you all from my trip to Sophia's and Applejack's resale are these pieces. I don't know if any of you all remember from back in the early 2000s, uh, these Tempo, I guess they're tissue refillable, refills, not refillable, Tempo refills, uh, you get four times, so 96 sheets per pack. Um, I didn't realize they didn't make these anymore. Um, I remember my grandmother having some of these from when I was a kid, and I just, I remember the packaging, I remember the, the Tempo font of the lettering, and you know what, I just, you know, on a whim was like, eh, you know what, these are from 2000, let's just see how much they're going for. If I can remember to do so, I will put the um, the comps for these items, or at least from what I found from my research in the video so you guys can see. I just gotta remember to do that. <laughs> and then the final item that I'd like to share with you all, excuse me, is this really cool covered divided dish. It's got a weeded, weeded, weaved basket. It's lidded, just needs to be cleaned. I thought maybe somebody could use this for crafts or maybe to serve something in, like maybe cheese and crackers or, you know, nuts and berries and, you know, wallabies and wannabes and whatnot. So I thought that was really cool and a, in good shape and a very good price. So I want to thank you all so much for tuning into my haul today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down below in the comments section what were your favorite items. Did you remember any of the products that I shared with you all from the early 2000s? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching.